So I'm really uh, happy to be uh, able to have a chat with my uh, friend and colleague, longtime friend and colleague for uh, over 30 years, uh, Deborah Brown, who's the professor of philosophy at uh, the University of uh, Queensland. And she's been in that position since 2018, I believe, but at University of Queensland for much, much longer. Uh, in fact, the core of her career. And um, she's got a really interesting kind of background and has done work in uh, a bunch of different areas that I want to just highlight before we open up the conversation. So just to give the sort of you know, bare bones, uh, you know, I guess start with a professional sort of uh, uh, background. Deb uh, specializes in the history of early modern philosophy. That's one of her main areas and especially on Descartes. And she's done two books on uh, Descartes, 2006, The Passionate Mind with Cambridge. And more recently in 2019, Descartes and the Ontology of Everyday Life with Oxford. Uh, so they're major sorts of uh, research uh, accomplishments in that area. But she's written more broadly on women in the history of modern philosophy, on Hobbes, a little bit on Locke, around that, that period that runs roughly, and I'll probably get corrected on this, and I'm entirely open to being schooled, uh, roughly, you know, 1620 to about uh, 1800 or so uh, in the early 19th century. Uh, it's a very important period in the history of philosophy, and Deb's done important work on major figures there. Um, she's also done work, uh, the way I think about it, as sort of bookending the main contributions on the history of modern philosophy in my own area, philosophy of mind and, and language. And we sort of started out, and that's how we met, actually, in a, a conference session that was uh, dedicated to uh, the philosophy of mind, uh, where there's a lot of focus on individualism and externalism, externalism how we understand uh, mental representation. And that's work that Deb was focused on very much in the first five plus years of her career. It's probably never really gone away. And there's some recent work on that um, as well in, in the philosophy of mind, philosophy of language, metaphysics and epistemology more generally. And the other major area that she's made, um, I think some of the most important contributions to that sometimes get missed by people in academic philosophy, but they're especially important here, uh, is uh, associated with her work on the critical thinking project. And we will talk about that at the university. University of Queensland and the way in which it really facilitates that next generation of philosophers, philosophers not philosophers, um, uh, of, of whom you are a, a major a component. And um, that project has been really, really significant uh, nationally, I think even internationally, in opening up the boundaries of philosophy and empowering people to engage in philosophical thinking from a, a real diversity of backgrounds. So we'll get on to talk a little bit about, about that. So uh, Deb was an undergraduate at the University of uh, uh, Queensland and uh, has a first class honours degree in, in philosophy uh, from uh, probably 86, 87, Deb, somewhere 86. in 86. 86. And then went on uh, on a, a prestigious Commonwealth scholarship to go to uh, the University of Toronto, where she completed her master's and her PhD in the early 1990s. I want to say 92, do you reckon? Okay, yeah. that seems like a good year. <laughs> All right, so um, that's the bare bones uh, biography, but we're going to unfold this a little bit more uh, informally through our conversation, talk about some of these uh, things as we go.